Hello everyone, this is Assistant Professor Michelle Jansi from the Department of Management Studies. Uh, so today uh, we are going to uh, discuss on the topic corporate communication and public relations uh, which comes under TYBMS syllabus for the uh, semester 5. So before we uh, go back, like start with our theories of public relation, let us understand what is public relation. So public relation is a deliberate, planned and sustained effort put in by the uh, public relation department to maintain a relationship between the organization and the public. Here, uh, here as the statement states, public relation is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationship between organization and their public. So as you can see, public relation which means activities that promote the favorable image and communications a company has with its employees, customers, investors and the public and how it gets differentiated uh, among like from uh, publicity is publicity is a free mention of a product or a company in the media. So the different uh, uh, components or we can say elements that is used in public relations are uh, public the relation can be maintained through marketing with the help of press through network uh, through organizing of events uh, through effective communication uh, with the help of promotion publicity sharing of information blogging and uh, also the major component is the pr of the organization so let us see the theories which is used in public relation so basically there are four theories which is used in public relation systems theory situational theory social exchange theory and diffusion theory so the purpose of these theories are so these theories help the public relation officer to understand the human nature and accordingly with the help of management uh, frame the policies and strategies as per the need of the society. So the first theory which you can, which you can see is the systems theory. So this systems theory involves three components input, output and feedback. Like this theory helps the um, uh, PR officer, this theory helps the PR officer to understand as to what information needs to be kept confidential, what information needs to be communicated uh, by following two systems of communication. One is open system and this next one is closed system. So considering the information from the external environment and that is being communicated to the management and based on the information that PR provides of the external environment, the transformation process occurs and that leads to the output that is designing of products and services, the financial results of the organization, the information that you provide to the public and the human relation that you maintain with your stakeholders. The next theory is the situational theory. So this theory was put forth by Gronig in the year 1975 and this theory states that people will act on an issue or situation when they believe it affects them personally and their actions can make a difference. So it deals with three variables problem recognition, constraint recognition and level of involvement. So in the first variable states that people will seek information only when there is a need for them uh, uh, they have a need for the uh, information and constraint recognition is people must see that they cannot do something about the issue so in that situation they will either would not react much to the situation and in level of involvement people must care about resolving the issue so people who are highly involved in the issue will try to communicate and will sort the issue so this is what situational theory is the next one is the social exchange theory so according to this theory we as human beings would give something to receive something back in return that is more desirable so as you can see the main idea behind this theory is everyone tries to maximize the rewards they obtain from a relationship and try to minimize the cost if the relationship is to be successful then both the parties are expected to give and take an equal proportion so as you can see we always see to maximize our benefits 
and minimize our cost. That is what even in relationship, if we feel that our risks are overweighing than the profit that we are getting, then either we tend to abandon the relationship, same happens with uh, the business as well. So next is, next and the last one is the diffusion of innovation theory. So as per this theory, it states that this theory will help the PR officer to understand how the ideas or uh, the uh, innovation of an organization is accepted among the public. So here in this graph, you can see among the total number of consumers, 2.5% of the consumers are innovators, 13.5% of the consumers are early adopters, 34% are early majority, 34% are late majority and 16% of the overall consumers are laggards. So what do you mean by innovators? So innovators are those consumers who are ready to take up risk. So they, when a product is being newly launched, even if they have not much of information related to the product, still they are ready to take up the risk of making a decision to purchase the product. And next, early adopters who are 13.5%. So the, they are also known as opinion leaders. These are the people who accept the product as in when it comes into the market, uh, experience the product and then give their reviews to others who are ready to purchase those products. Then early majority of people who like to go with trends as and when fashion or trend is going on, they would like to go with the trend and purchase the product. Late majority are the people who wait for the price to reduce though they are uh, you know happy and uh, to accept the product which is on trend because but because of their price sensitiveness they wait for the price to reduce and then they will adopt the innovation so lagards are conventional buyers so who are ar around 16 percent of the whole population so they would never uh, like to go with innovations they are very happy with the products they are loyal to so for marketer it becomes very uh, challenging task to convince these category of people so here as you can see this is the process of innovation so if you have to convince the consumer to make a decision to purchase your product which is being newly launched this is the process that you go about first is knowledge the first step you have to provide them awareness about your ideas products or services which in turn should create an interest among them to make a decision to purchase your product which is it needs to persuade them to make a decision to purchase the product which is the next step decision on purchasing the product so the next one which is implementation once they have decided to make a purchase next is they'll purchase and give their feedback to the other consumer so this is how the diffusion theory works so with this we end up the session thank you so much